Olá pessoal, Rodrigo Góes aqui. Ele perdeu 281 quilos. Jesus Casey, I'm proud of you. Eu estou muito orgulhoso dele. Vamos contar um pouco da história de Casey King. Ele realmente venceu e eu tive a oportunidade de entrevistá-lo. Cola comigo. Let's go! A missão em 2024 é ficar a static. Por essa razão, eu, Rodrigo Góes, como embaixador da Maismo, criei um super combo para vocês. São cinco itens. O meu para treino esquenta, stay natty. Creatina saborizada. Whey protein. Bar de proteína de paçoquita. <risos> Jesus Maria e José. Dessa vez a Maismo foi longe demais. E Choco Wafer, um snack maravilhoso. Utilizando o meu cupom GOES10, o seu desconto vai ser de 20% lá no site. Cola comigo. Não perca tempo. Sejam true natty. I'll just eat until I'm dead, probably. A normal day for me is wake up around 12, figure out something I'm going to eat immediately. TV. Pessoal, vocês percebem como ele seca com muito cuidado a região da barriga? O porquê? Porque ele tem muitas dobras. E se você não enxugar bem, você pode ter uma infecção bacteriana e também de fungos, como a candidíase. Sem dúvidas, Casey precisa ter muito cuidado ao se higienizar. Videogames, bed. It's not a lot of activity. Olha o tamanho dele. I never would have thought at 34 I'd be living with my father and I'd be have no job have no real money and just be playing video games all day and eating and food's got a lot to do with his happiness but he's like an addict about food well i have bad news you did not get your right order are you kidding me no you didn't because if you ordered yourself a meal it's not in here well whatever here you go there's your lunch I don't want to call him an enabler, but I mean, sometimes that's really the way, like, it, it, it seems that it is. O pai dele é um facilitador? Sim, mas você jogar toda a culpa no pai dele não é adequado. Casey também tem boa parte de culpa em todo esse peso que ele ganhou. Não é justo que ele culpe só o papai. Os papais e mamães querem ver os filhos felizes. E nessa situação, o pai dele só quer ver Casey sorrir. E o que faz Casey sorrir? Comer como um animal. I'm not buying the groceries. I'm not buying the frozen pizzas. I'm not buying the chicken wings. Refeição de fast food já é muito rica em sódio. E o que ele faz? Ele coloca mais sal ainda. O que é muito perigoso. Casey, com esse peso inteiro, com certeza já tem a pressão muito alta. E o que o sódio irá fazer? O sódio em excesso irá aumentar ainda mais a pressão de Casey. There's someone facilitating the food coming in, and it's not me. O peso de Casey é tão elevado que ele não consegue tomar banhos em banheiros normais. Ele toma banho do lado de fora de casa em uma bacia imensa. Vamos conferir agora. Because I cannot physically bathe in a sit-down bathtub or stand-up shower area. Oh, this is slippery. Oh. Oh. Because I'm a bigger guy with like folds and flaps, and I have to move around like almost like a pig in, in a way and wallow and roll over to get like the back of my leg I have to lift up literal like pieces of skin it's just a super difficult process there's two times where I've been kind of stuck in the shower and I couldn't get up I sat in there for like nine hours just couldn't get up and I can't ask my dad to get me up and we were like I was like dad I just I'm afraid to get back in there again he's like Well, I got this thing I can buy. A situação de Casey é extrema, mas ele venceu. Ele passou pela cirurgia bariátrica, se exercitou e perdeu mais de 250 quilos. O garoto é um vencedor. Vamos ver o antes e depois de Casey. Sim, pessoal. Casey King venceu. Ele perdeu 281 quilos de gordura. Obviamente, tem pele morta a ser retirada. Eu chuto que deve ter entre 15 a 30 quilos só de pele. Não tem como recuperar essa pele. Ela realmente se torna uma espécie de pele morta. Por quê? Porque após perder 281 quilos, essa pele perdeu toda a elasticidade. Look at him! É muito bom ver um cara vencendo. Olha só isso, pessoal. 
É maravilhoso ver a vitória do Casey. Ele era imenso. E aqui ele já tinha perdido peso, viu? Então aqui nós temos o Instagram do Casey King. Depois eu vou mostrar um pouquinho dele para vocês. Mas agora vamos conferir a entrevista que eu fiz com ele. Hello, man. Thanks for meeting me, ok? I truly appreciate it. No problem, no problem. My pleasure. And you're looking pretty good. Yeah, we're trying to. We're trying to. I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of in like morning mode, but I've been awake for a while. It's not, <laughs> I haven't showered, but I've been awake for a little while. Right on. So I'm Rodrigo. I'm from Brazil. And I was reading your story and I was watching the show and I was like, Jesus Christ, this guy changed. And I was yeah. truly impressed, man. And uh, we, we here in Brazil, a lot of people are going for the bypass surgery. I'm sorry if my accent's deep. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. You're fine. You're fine. I can understand everything you're saying. You're totally good. Okay. So I, I was like, man, maybe I should talk to this guy and mo motivate all the people around here that I'm trying to get yeah. better, you know, that they're trying to get fit. I'm more than willing to help. And uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoy talking about everything I went through, especially like when it comes to like getting the surgery uh how much it changed my life and everything so yeah I, i definitely want to help people and motivate them and uh get out the word of like change is possible if you just you know put the work the work in and do stuff like that like i you know i i, I want to help as many people as possible man that's awesome so what was the heaviest weight you you were um It's disputed a little bit of the exact weight. My mom says it was 823, but I was, I seem to remember being like 835 pounds in the hospital uh, like 10 years ago. So I think it's 835, but she says it was like 823, but it might have been 825, so I'm not sure. That is a lot. Yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a lot, a lot. Like people... <laughs> You know, people will be like, man, I was really heavy at one point. I'm like, what was your, what was your highest weight? And I know <laughs> that, like, my weight is exceptionally high. And I, and I don't, and I don't want to say it to brag, but I'm like, when people are like, man, I'm, you know, I'm 800 pounds. I mean, uh, no, they're like, I'm 400 pounds. I'm 450. I'm 500. I'm like, that's pretty big. And that's yeah. big. But I'm like, I was a little bigger. I don't think people realize, like, how much weight that actually is. No, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't even sound like a real number. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so what was like the hardest part of your journey? Like, what was it like getting into surgery? Because I noticed in the show that you had to lose some weight before getting the surgery, like for, for safety reasons. I yeah. Think yeah. That it. Um, so life was pretty like non-existent i just really had the same uh monotonous like thing of waking up playing video games eating playing more video games uh watching a movie or something eating playing more video games and sleeping and then repeating that um the opportunity of being on the show was kind of like given to me at random from a friend and oh, then really? I, yeah like uh it's really crazy i me and my mom had went to had talked about getting like that kind of surgery but it's very expensive i had no insurance um and you know then i went to the hospital was there for like four weeks lost some weight came home dieted started exercising in like a pool just walking then getting to the point where i could swim and uh doing that four times a week for like a year uh lost some weight got sick uh the gym would close for repairs on the pool gained a lot of weight back after like plateauing really hard and then i don't want to give you like this whole thing because it's so drawn out but then a friend of mine was like hey i have an opportunity for, from another friend who knows someone going on a show and they're looking for people would you be interested got in touch with them uh and then you know the whole thing kind of seems like a blur now as far as like getting cast yeah, i show. understand that Yeah, and, and that took like a year to not from hearing things, not hearing things. They might choose other people because we were like up against this other group of people. But uh, we were exceptionally large. And I knew that like that was going to help us uh, get chosen. Um, and then, you know, being on the show, it was a it flipped my whole life upside down because they wanted us up earlier. We had to be places. And I was really just used to like only going to the gym 
going to maybe a matinee movie theater when no one was there and getting food to go. But, you know, these people had us like showing up for meetings, showing up for appointments, all these things. Uh, Losing the weight for the show was only hard because, I mean, I had already dieted before. um, And I was 711 pounds when the show first started filming uh, because I had lost weight and then gained a substantial amount back pretty quickly. Um, but it was, I don't know. I had already dieted a little bit before and I'd already had an active lifestyle and I'd already had a kind of, uh, come to terms with like the fact that I didn't want to die and I knew I need to put these yeah. things like, uh, like death was coming. I don't know if it was coming the next year or the year after, but I don't know if I would have made it to now I'm 39. The show was filmed when I was like 33, 34. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The show came out in 2019, and now it's 2024. So it's been five years since it came out. So it was six years ago it was filmed. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was already a lifestyle that I had kind of committed to. Uh, at times, I I did want to eat, you know, obviously, and I wanted to just kind of indulge. But but it was something that I had already pretty much committed to, and I knew that if I gave it my all. The opportunity was like, I never thought I was going to get to this weight. Like I, I said 250 as a joke because I was like, well, I mean, that's a <laughs> that's a normal weight. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, uh, and then it just gradually over time, I lost weight while the show was filming. I lost weight after the show. I would plateau. I would change up things. and. But I, I noticed died. like you're looking pretty good. Like you, you got the results and you, you stuck to it because – you yeah, look good man. You didn't no, gain yeah, I, like huge amount of weight. Yeah, that's another crazy thing. People are always like, I see people lose weight and then I see them put it back on, and I'm like, exactly. I, I don't see how people put it back on. Like, I will never go back. Like, my weight does fluctuate with like 20 pounds or so, but I'll never go back to like plus 300 for like, I'll never go back to that life. Like, I'm an extra large's occasionally a large there's no way yeah. i ever go back to a bigger size or anything like that like what would you say it's the like the main difference is now that you have a a regular weight like life changed so much you can do stuff you couldn't do it before like the whole like your whole life changed right you can yeah. do anything you want pretty much yeah um i guess it's just like for someone that lived a full adult life and then they get into that kind of thing, I, I don't know if this necessarily would work for them because they lived. They had activities they did. They explored. They traveled. They did. Whatever. I never really fully got to be an adult. Like, I was in my 20s. Uh, I was, like, 25, and I was already, like, 500 pounds. Jesus. Yeah, yeah I was, like, 20, 24, probably 500 pounds, 25, 500 pounds. Um, I never really got to travel so much freely. Uh, I never had a dating life. I never had a sex life. Um, the, all those things didn't exist. Like they, I literally never had them until now. I didn't date ever in my 20s or in my teens. I never had a girlfriend ever. Um, I was a virgin through all my life. Because uh, all that extra weight wouldn't, wouldn't let you do all those normal things, I guess. Like I, I, they, 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 they probably made them impossible, but also I yeah. just didn't have the drive for them because oh. I didn't think they were fathomable. Like I didn't think that I was dateable and also not to be like shallow, but I wasn't going to attract women that I was attracted to because I didn't want to add some other like large unhealthy individual into my lifestyle because that's yeah. already what I was. It was yeah. only going to complicate things and compound the situation. Um, I wanted more. Uh, my nephew was born about Thomas is 13. So he was born about the time that I was in the hospital and I wanted to lose weight to be a better uncle. Uh, I had been told by many doctors, you know, like you're going to die if you don't change. And I didn't want to not, be a part of this kid's life growing up. And then as I lost weight after the surgery and more things became possible, I was like, this could just keep going. I could just yeah. lose the weight if I just keep tweaking things and being more active and doing more things and eating less. And then as I did more in that facet, 
it gave me more opportunities in life to to do those things. And I was like, dude, th things are only getting better. And I'm not even really trying, like I'm trying, but I'm not crippling myself and killing myself to lose weight. I could easily contend to continue this into the future and see where this goes. And I just kept losing weight and I kept losing weight and I kept losing weight. And I kept That's losing just weight. amazing, man. That's just amazing. It's because you learned what you could do and what you had to do to lose the weight. Yeah. And everything I was able to achieve and do gave me more, of a wanting to do more like once i was able to drive i want to go places like and then when i was able to go places i was like i want to look good and and i want to be presentable and then when i was able to buy clothes i was like i want to buy more clothes i want to fit into more things i want to get smaller i want to have more options like once i was able to shop in a normal store i wanted to be able to buy anything i want in that store i didn't want to have to always Oh, they don't have my size. And sometimes that still does happen because large and extra large are like the two yeah, yeah. biggest selling size. But like, I no longer had to be like, do you guys have this in double XL or triple XL? And they're like, no, we don't carry in those sizes and you have to order online. No, like shopping in stores was possible. And then, you know, I started to date and then I was told I was cute. I was attractive. <laughs> I was sexy. I, I had nice yeah. jawline features. I like people liked my face. That's it true. That's true. Work. You have a nice jawline. Thank you. Compliments <laughs> are nice. It's great. Yeah. To yeah. Be, like I, like I've always been told I was funny and I'm nice and I'm personable. Cool. But then to be told like, you're, I I like you. I have feelings for you. I love you. Like these are things I had never heard except from family members and friends. And I was like, this feels pretty good. Let's keep this going. So those are all the benefits of losing weight because dude you made it and and like yeah. it's truly amazing you know because uh, a lot of people are struggling right now to lose the weight and a lot of people give up you know yeah do you have it's rough. do you have do you have any words for those people that like are struggling that are thinking about getting the surgery done do you think they should go for it what's your like what if i if i it? If people have the opportunity to get the surgery that I had or some form of bariatric or gastric bypass surgery, I fully support them. I think they should do it if the opportunity is there and they really do need it. There is a – in my world, in my life, I I only understand the surgery for me because I was – Yeah, so yeah. And there was no option. I have heard of people getting the surgery. You know, I've heard of men being like five foot ten – uh 280 pounds getting the surgery yeah. just because they don't think they can lose the weight and hey i support listen it 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 will make you lose weight if you get the surgery and you commit to the process there is there is a possibility you could get the surgery and then just think like you don't have to do anything and then you don't lose weight because you don't really try um and that's unfortunate you should you know it's not an easy fix it's not a full fix it does help a lot but like if you get the surgery and you commit to eating less letting it help you getting more active. I think it is one of the best things, the best uh, vehicles to help someone get to where they're going. It's the greatest tool that I was ever given. It's the greatest gift I was ever given by the show and the hospital. And, uh, you know, I didn't have insurance. They paid for the whole thing. It's That's the, awesome. It, it's one of the truly best opportunities that I know I fully took almost the most advantage of i could i could have died a little more i could have been a yeah. little more active but to have these results i'm very happy with what i did what i chose to do and how i did it um and i'm a big proponent and advocate for this surgery you should do it if the opportunity is there it can change your life if you allow it um eating is one of these addictions like food addictions is one of these things no one will ever give you the empathy or sympathy for like a drug or alcohol addiction it yeah is that's swept true. Under, it's yeah. swept under the rug it's misunderstood it's misdiagnosed it's completely um underrated and not given the uh attention and uh you know uh hype that it deserves because it's it's deadly you can go into a mcdonald's and order 12 big macs no one's gonna say anything if you're that's sitting true. on the side of the road doing heroin or you know crack People will feel bad for you and they'll be like, oh, that person should get help. But you could eat food all day and no one's ever going to say anything. Um, you can hide an eating addiction pretty bad until it's getting, until it gets to where it's obvious. Um, 
it's it's one of those hard things because you have to eat to live and why wouldn't you want to eat good yeah. food that's yeah. really bad for you do, do you still do you still like eat any for uh eat plant foods or like your child they change it completely how, how do you deal with that right now um I'm trying to get back into dieting pretty hardcore. Uh, so that will like cut some of the, but for the most part, I go to a restaurant, I'll order what I want. Um, I was doing That's keto. Great. For That's about great. A year. I was doing keto for about a year. That was working. Uh, I fell off of it and gained some weight back because I didn't probably go back into eating the healthiest I should, but mm -hmm. I'm at a still comfortable weight and I'm still happy with where I am. I'm like yeah. 60 right now. But um, the lowest I've been is 237, but I was, like, dieting and, like, exercise, yeah. and I still need to get back to that. But um, I, for the most part, order what I want. I've always been a diet drink drinker. I don't really drink Coca-Cola. I drink Di Coke Zero, and I know people are going to be like, oh, the artificial, whatever. Um, no, no, that's, that's bull crap. It's way better to drink a diet Coke than to drink yeah. a full sugar Coke, you know? Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Just, like, stupid. Just to compare it to stupid. Yes, the, the 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 artificial sugars that they give those rats is like a thousand bottles a day, and I drink exactly, two. Exactly. So yeah, I'm not. Plus, also, if something is going to kill everyone. Like we're all going to die yeah. of something. So I'm okay with drinking my Coke Zero, my Diet Coke. Me too, you man. Drink your Coca Cola. Too. Yeah. Live your life. I, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I try to do a couple of things healthy. I know I'm not the most perfect person. So instead no of ordering real. instead of ordering a bacon cheeseburger with donuts on top of it, I drink a Diet Coke and have a burrito. So, you know. That's whatever. awesome. Way yeah. to go, man. Um, Way to go. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard to give up um, everything. Uh, we're all yeah. going to have things we indulge in occasionally. And uh, I do order a bacon cheeseburger. I do get chicken wings sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, order, yeah, if, I'll get if a most, salad. Yeah, if most of the time you, you try like to be good with your diet, you can have some fun, you know. Yeah, uh, I think what, what kills people is like eating 10 cheeseburgers per day. So, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, everyone will rationalize everything they do to make it okay or make sense for them, and that's that's kind of a slippery slope, you know. I'll have the, the cheat meal, but I'll also order, um just grilled nuggets or grilled chicken or uh a salad or just uh one or two tacos i won't get like four and i won't have cheese dip and i won't have ice cream it's you just have to cut out things occasionally and then try and do more try and burn more calories than you're bringing in and you'll always lose weight like that's just the way it goes yeah okay man yeah. dude Thank you so much for talking to me. I'm like, let me see if I have Later. any questions. Oh, did you did you have to get a skin removal surgery or you didn't get it? Will you get it? You're thinking about it? Um, it's been something that we've looked into for like three years, but I was losing weight over two of those years. And then I yeah. got sick. Uh, I had three hernias that were found out and I had to have them repaired. Oh, that's weird. I'm going to. I'm going to try and get skin removal this year or at least get it fully figured out and have it next year. I don't know the the waiting process. There was a GoFundMe uh, that, that gave me a large sum of money to help pay for it, but I still have to. I need about two times that amount of money to pay for it. I'm going to set up another GoFundMe because uh, the right. one that was That's set awesome. up previously was by someone that didn't know the numbers, which it did help a lot, but I still need like insurance won't cover it. Uh, yeah, because, it's truly expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, it is something I'm definitely wanting because it'll probably drop 30 more pounds off my body. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm definitely looking forward to finding more about it and getting it figured out. It's something I want. I just haven't fully uh, figured it out yet. And, and do you still play video games? Oddly enough, I don't play <laughs> ever. Like I I have a I have like two games on my phone that I'll play occasionally. I did really? just literally last night. Yeah clash royale and this other island <laughs> when i'm bored um i just set up a new tv in my room and i took a ps4 that i bought in like 2020 out of the box and set it up uh and i hooked my i hooked my xbox up but i haven't played a video game in like a year and a half like on an yeah, i just got a all. ps5 <laughs> yeah i'm uh i'm not i don't i don't have all the expendable income and i and i have a Lower job. I'm. I want to get a new Xbox, a new PlayStation. But I bought that PlayStation Four 
just because I wanted to play all these games because I've always been an Xbox guy, but I haven't even set it up. Yeah. Okay, man. Thank you so much for talking to me. I want to say in the name of Brazil, congratulations. What you did was amazing. Just keep Thank up you. being fit, being healthy. And uh, I'm sure like our talk, we hope a lot of people like we'll motivate them because what you I've... did, man, is truly impressive. No, I appreciate it. I'm I'm always down to talk and answer questions to anyone. Uh, I don't know if you're going to shout out my Instagram or whatever. I will. I'll, I will. Yeah, yeah, I'll take all all questions. I love attention. I love following. Like I love hearing people's journey. Uh, so anyone can hit me up anytime. And if you ever want to talk again, I'm totally down. Right on. I once I it. once I put the video up on YouTube, I'm going to link your Instagram to it, so cool. people will be able to talk to you and like people that will get the surgery can talk to you and and anyone who has any doubts about the surgery or anything about your life they will be able to talk to you okay yeah i have i have a youtube as well if you want to plug that you don't have to whatever you want to do people i will, can, I will. yeah I, i'm all for it i appreciate the opportunity thank you and uh thanks for the time okay man thank you truly appreciate it all right God later bless. Bernie. later man <laughs> E para quem quiser seguir o Casey, esse aqui é o Instagram dele, underline Casey King, beleza? Trying to change my life for the better, one day at a time, tentando mudar minha vida para melhor, um dia de cada vez. Aqui tem o peso máximo dele, o peso mínimo, aqui tem o nickname dele no Xbox, eu espero que ele volte a ser um gamer de forma equilibrada. Aqui você pode acompanhar toda a jornada dele, atualmente ele tem um emprego, por quê? Porque após perder 281 quilos... Ele voltou a viver. É muito legal ver as pessoas vencendo e conquistando esse tipo de resultado. E ele realmente era imenso. Ele realmente era muito, muito gordo. Ele também tem um GoFundMe que ele criou para remover a pele. Porque, pessoal, sem dúvidas, ele tem cerca de 15 a 30 quilos de pele. Look at this picture! Olha essa imagem. Então, quem quiser doar, quem quiser ajudar o Casey, não sei se essa vaquinha ainda está no ar, mas ele falou que vai precisar criar outra. Por quê? Porque ele não tem plano de saúde. Casey tem um emprego humilde e não tem dinheiro suficiente para ter plano de saúde. Todos nós sabemos que os planos de saúde nos Estados Unidos são caríssimos. Então, ele realmente precisa remover essa pele. Deve ser uma situação muito incômoda e muito ruim. Então, aqui tem toda a história dele, toda a trajetória. Ele emagreceu muito. Eu estou muito orgulhoso dele. Estou muito feliz que ele venceu. E aí? O que você achou da história de Casey King? Eu achei... Impressionante. O cara perdeu cerca de 280 quilos e recuperou a vontade de viver. Eu desejo tudo de melhor para você, Casey. Eu desejo muita saúde e muita ação para o seu beisebol bat. Afinal, após tantos anos, ele merece se divertir muito. E se você gosta desse tipo de conteúdo e quer ver mais vídeos como esse, por favor, se inscreva no meu canal, me siga no Instagram e me siga no TikTok. Rodrigo Góes, out!